Hey guys, it's Chris, and we're back with something else Amiga. What do we have on the channel today? Today's a very special, special day for me. It's been a long time, and I'm sure the creator of this will be so happy that I'm off his back. This is the Amiga 4091 Zorro 3 SCSI card from Stefan Renauer and Chris Hooper. You can find out a bunch of information on their website, scuzzy.me. I'll plop it right here in the old beep box and you can catch that also in the description below. I have not opened this. I have seen pictures of it. I've seen everyone else's, but mine is a little special. What makes yours so special, Chris? It's just the ultimate SCSI card that everyone in the world has wanted for their Amiga. I saw this at a, the VCF East in its beautiful box, just everything is beautiful. Someone in the USA, foreign and domestic. It's like a recreation of everything that is like the original unboxing experience. It's got the host adapter and all the languages. And I'm cracking this puppy open and you're coming along on the journey with me. So inside, you get a pamphlet. Welcome to your re A4091, first steps with your card. Here you can see information about the creators. Wonderful pamphlet. Chris is from California. Blah, blah, blah. This card has been created and hand assembled, brought up and debugged and tested by Chris and Stefan from the heart of Silicon Valley in California. There's an email address right here. You can also follow them on the old uh, InstaFace and other social media sites. Awesome. All about it, the cables, Active Terminator, the support disc. Now when I mean the original unboxing experience, this is what I mean. So you get a information on upgrading your ROM. Fully licensed original Commodore ROM. You'll find the license sticker on the back side of your 4091. This box also contains a version of our open source driver with many new features. Oh, that's an Amiga Forever ROM. Huh, neat. All right. Now mine has a special piece of foam here to prevent damaging and shipping. So the original unboxing experience would be like this, okay? Boop. Inside of this box, minus this foam, you get the cables, your ROM, the power cords, the terminator, and what's so special about my card, Chris? What is so special about your card? We'll get to that. A double-sided, double-density 4091 support disc with a full, I'm talking this, yep, it's the real deal. It's the original feel, the thickness of this cardstock paper, the matte finish with the color, not over top in the paper full guide just like this was the 90s and we were getting the full experience of instruction manuals from Commodore everything has been recreated perfectly from termination settings to jumper settings to hard drive to how to lay out your pins I am just beyond amazed at this so you guys have done an outstanding job and I want the world to know this and I don't see a lot of videos. Actually, I haven't seen any, so I had to put this out. All right, so wonderful job on this. I have gone ahead and put on some gloves. Why? Because I don't want to touch the metal. The reason that my card is so special is this. I asked and begged and pleaded to have mine done in purple. Purple is my favorite color. This is just incredibly beautiful. Incredible. I can tell it's been tested on because there's some marks and that's okay. Power connector, all the logic, the NCR chip, the ROM, just epically beautiful. 50 megahertz clock crystal, LED, motherboard jumpers, the 50 pin internal SCSI cable, hard drive mounts with the screws for them, a metal uh, back plate, and my sticker, metal back plate, my 4091 7.0 ROM, holy crap, this is just an epically beautiful card, and you guys should uh, really get one. How much was this card? It was $6,487,000. You can finance it on PayPal credit. 
No, this card was under $300. I think it was like $250. I forget. I buy a lot of things. And this has just been top shelf on my list for a long time. I'm beyond a stag to have serial number five. And I am super beyond words at the color. This is just beautiful. I know you don't really see them much. But I'm in my case a lot. And I'm sure you guys are too. And just something about the new boards in purple is just incredible to me. I just, it's just... I'm speechless, and that's a lot for me. You guys know, talk to me on the phone or whatever. Incredible. So, I'm looking forward to using that. There will be a full uh, review and usage of this card coming up in the future, but I just wanted to get with you guys and show you this new SCSI card from these two wonderful people that have recreated this over many efforts and it's a lot of work to remake something like this with this level of detail from disc to boxing. I mean, this is just like I went to a Commodore store and purchased this and brought it home. That is the level of quality. Here's the Terminator. I don't have to put my gloves back on for that. Even ESD strap sealed. That's my clock. I turned the audible on. I'm sorry. It doesn't sound too good. Okay, here's the Terminator with its wrapped special protective cover. Terminator board, SCSI 2 Terminator board, Rev A, in purple. Freaking epic. And the open source ROM is also in there too for the 4091, the CD uh, file system ROM. You can request that when you express interest. This is the website, it's SCSI.me. Now I've zoomed in uh, a little bit to show it to you on screen. This is an actual autographed card by the one and only Dave Haney. Goes over what it is, it's a SCSI 2, 10 meg for the Amiga. One of only two Zorro 3 SCSI controllers that were ever designed. Full length Zorro 3 with DMA, designed for the Amiga 4000, will work with the Amiga 3000, and a Super Buster 11, important safety tip. Based on the NCR 53C710 chip, has an auto boot ROM. This is a reproduction board based on the old board and PAL source code as part of the Dave Haney archives. 80 components on the top, 147 on the bottom. It's manually built. It takes seven hours per board plus debugging. The 4091 has been open sourced. They have a GitHub project, but the modern auto boot ROM with the TD64 and NSD64 are in development. You can check out all of these social media sites from Twitter, Instaface, uh, that guy, uh, what's that one, Discord, um, Mastodon, LinkedIn, I think that's GitHub, and uh, their, I think this is their website, Amiga.technology, yep, and has the blog and everything else that they do. So give them a check out, and if you're interested, go click that button. The website is scsi.me, and I can guarantee you, you're going to have a pleasant unboxing experience. I don't know how many of these are. They're hand-built. Reach out to those guys and express interest if you're interested. You'll get an email. Mine took a little while, but once again, purple. Can't thank you guys enough. And thank you guys in the Amiga world for just checking out an old fat dude reviewing ancient computer equipment. Until next time, thank you guys for watching, and as always, hope you learned something.